We're joined by Dr. Swati Murthy, Practice Lead, Strategic Collaborations for Sustainability at TCS and Digital Transformation Leader of the Year at the 2023 Women in IT Awards UK. Swati, how does it feel to have won? Oh, uh, it was so thrilling to win this award. Uh, in fact, uh, it was uh, endearing to see so many women leaders uh, under the same roof uh, on that evening. And I'm grateful to the organizers and also all my uh, colleagues, my mentors and my family members uh, for uh, letting me uh, experience this moment. I think it's a great recognition and it motivates me as well. You know, it, it, it gives a lot of hope because there's a lot of work to do uh, in the future. Mm, absolutely. Yeah. And it's important to keep like raise the recognition of this kind of thing. Absolutely. Um, so we're just going to dive into um, your, your achievements at, at TCS because it's brilliant. Um, so firstly, how have you and your team gone about bringing together carbon accounting, energy management and, and ESG to address supply chain sustainability? The journey has been uh, very long. It's been 10 years that I'm working for TCS. It's my 11th year and uh, we have been believing in uh, one single vision, uh, which is uh, helping build a sustainable future with our customers and our partners. Uh, we realized early on that this needs a single point focus uh, around environmental and social governance because that's the larger defined framework which uh, one would like to put in place if you have to steer your growth towards a sustainable world. We started off with uh, a lot of uh, work in the uh, power generation and power distribution sector and we went on to power users as well uh, where we knew that it is important for uh, uh, users of uh, natural resources uh, to put in place uh, guidelines for environment and social governance if they have to grow. It's not an easy task to decouple uh, growth uh, from carbon emissions. Uh, it's indeed a great uh, journey because we have uh, not only shared best practices across different re different industry ecosystems, but we have also managed to motivate uh, young talent uh, in this uh, particular space to work in this particular space. As you may be knowing, uh, this uh, needs collaboration across different geographies, across different uh, diversities, and uh, also across uh, different types of industries. And I think uh, in the last 10 years, we have we have uh, indeed put that effort to be, uh, uh, you know, uh, able to achieve this vision, I would say. Well, it just goes to show it's not something that can, it's not a one and done thing. It's It can't be rushed. It needs like a lot of thought over multiple years. And it's it's work that you guys need to continue um, carrying on with, right? Absolutely. I think uh, you cannot uh, let failures deter you. It is very important to come back and recover when you see something not going in the direction that you've uh, really planned for. It's extremely important to stick to your goal and it's extremely important to also stay motivated. I think that's the key and uh, we have in fact in the last 10 years uh, managed to achieve that. Mm, absolutely. Now, when it comes to establishing a net zero economy, what would you say is the biggest sustainability related challenge we have now in the tech industry and how can this be overcome in your view? I think uh, it's very important to understand that uh, today's supply chains are complex. Uh, we have companies spread across different parts of the world sourcing materials from different uh, geographies, some of them uh, who are again dependent on emerging economies. So you are prone to a lot of risks and vulnerabilities when you're uh, uh, going to expand your business uh, globally. It is extremely important to understand this complexity in the very nature the businesses operate. And uh, this cuts across different uh, types of industries as well, starting from uh, oil and gas to power and utilities to manufacturers who use these resources to retailers who are distributing the products that are being manufactured and the consumers like you and me who have to be conscious as well. We have to take an informed decisions when we are buying our products. Uh, so when it comes to such a complex ecosystem, I think uh, what is key is addressing uh, the supply chain decarbonization space critically. 
which is moving beyond your own operations your own real estate and focusing on the larger supply chain and that's again uh, something that is uh, not easy to achieve because you need uh, uh, a data foundation to be put in place to understand how your supply chain uh, is dynamically evolving you know as we speak and uh, we we in fact uh, uh, had a single point focus to encourage our uh, uh, you know customers and also our partners to work with us to understand this space first of all uh, which is very important and then come up with solutions frameworks accelerators to uh, put the right environment and social governance frameworks in place to uh, make sure that you achieve sustainability in supply chain as well a lot of uh, uh, carbon in your business resides in your supply chain if you look at a typical company 70 to 80 percent of the carbon emissions are because of the supply chain and it, it's, it's extremely uh, important to trace uh, the supply chain and make this more and more visible as they expand expand this becomes even more difficult when you're a large company spread across different mm -hmm. economies different uh, parts of the world and therefore uh, it's extremely crucial to work with global partners uh, like us and also other uh, uh, you know uh, companies who are in the space which are globally spread and therefore uh, we believe in uh, uh, you know uh, putting together strategic collaborations with companies across and also partners across to uh, achieve this single goal of uh, net zero i suppose that just goes to show that everybody across the whole network no matter what the role is whether they're a partner whether they're a customer whether they're an employee individual employee or everyone needs the same visibility right absolutely i think it's important to create that single source of truth and uh, that uh, kind of uh, also uh, calls for understanding the subject matter and the domain very well today there is a dearth of talent when it uh, comes to understanding say for example how you can even estimate carbon emissions which is why carbon accounting mm. is key like, just like financial accounting and uh, uh, also bringing in the larger metrics around environment and social governance because carbon happens to be only one metric uh, of environmental impact there are quite a few metrics for example water scarcity is another metric and uh, you also have many social metrics that you have to keep in play place and you have to be mindful of when you have to build your supply chain that's why that mammoth task is complex and needs collaborations mm. Absolutely. Yeah, that's some great points there. Thank you. Um, now, when it comes to that all important nurturing of diverse tech talent that you touched on earlier, um, what has been key to empowering staff and ensuring that they have the skills they need to aid digital transformation initiatives? Yes, so uh, when it comes to uh, nurturing tech talent, uh, what uh, we definitely believed in is that everybody should understand the sustainability space, which means uh, they have to understand what it means to be uh, environmentally responsible and also socially responsible. Uh, it's also important to understand uh, the different uh, challenges the industries uh, are facing. Uh, for example, if you come up with a solution which is uh, specifically fitting a consumer package with segment, uh, that uh, perhaps uh, needs a little bit of contextualization to repurpose for another industry like retail, uh, for example, or a, a heavy equipment manufacturing company. So it's extremely important for the tech talent to work and collaborate with the industry advisors who know these industries very well and also with uh, subject matter experts who know carbon accounting and environmental experts who understand what is the environmental impact of a particular uh, uh, you know uh, business expansion and also social experts as well because they uh, can actually mm -hmm. bring out the detailing around social impact of a particular uh, business strategy so we in fact uh, uh, believe in bringing together tech uh, uh, and the multidisciplinary talent uh, which is industry expertise and uh, the subject matter expertise around sustainability together and uh, of course uh, our uh, uh, business leaders and our uh, 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 you know leaders have been consistently motivating us to do this uh, and this has been part of uh, every say for example uh, so it's an initiative around uh, nurturing innovative ideas sustainability is a key theme uh, which is put across in every initiative uh, in the organization and also uh, all the marketing events and also uh, the thought leadership uh, white papers that we're producing today will have a sustainability as an underpinning theme so that the new talent that uh, we come with that comes on board can think in the direction and can actually take a decision around how they have to shape their future as well. 
Absolutely. It's, it's great to see that rising up the corporate agenda across the tech industry as well. Um, and it'll be great. It'll be interesting to see how that develops in the coming years. Yes, I think we have an exciting uh, year uh, ahead of us. And I think uh, it's important to stay hopeful because we see a lot of organizations uh, wanting to put their time and effort into building a net zero world and which is very encouraging, uh, a trend that is uh, obviously very positive. If you look at it in the last 10 years, uh, the way we have grown as a society and as a world. We, we see more and more young talent understanding the purpose behind our very existence itself, which is, which is uh, for example, uh, important to understand that if you're thinking of, an, uh, uh, if you're a new entrepreneur thinking of starting a business, you have to start a business which uh, in fact uh, adds a positive impact to the environment and also has a social impact. Uh, which uh, is giving back to your society itself, you know. So young talent is today is thinking about this uh, and I think that's a great, great transformation, uh, you know, for the human, humankind itself. Mm, amazing, yes, absolutely. Um, now just to round off Swati, what advice would you give to anyone watching um, who is aiming towards a, a leadership role such as like what you're in now or is starting out in a leadership role in tech around ensuring and nurturing a diverse, equitable and inclusive team to drive innovation. What advice would you give there? I think one uh, piece of, uh, uh, I would say, uh, a mind share that I would give from my experience, what I've learned, for example, is it's extremely important to be collaborative. You need to have uh, a bent of mind which can uh, think uh, globally, but at the same time also understand the regional and cultural uh, you know, uh, sentiments of a particular uh, geography that you're uh, wanting to support uh, as, a, say, for example, a service provider or a product vendor, which is why it's extremely important to have the diversity in your team because they bring perspectives that you as a single person cannot understand. It's important to not only have gender bio diversity, but also biodiversity and uh, but also diversity in terms of cultural uh, sentiments, diversity in terms you understand a particular economy in an emerging market for that uh, matter it's extremely important and also uh, you know how you think of yourself as an individual and your personal orientation these are things which you cannot understand if you have a single uh, kind of uh, a type of people uh, in, in your team. It's extremely important to bring that cultural diversity. And that I think uh, is, uh, is, is a secret behind a successful team. It's also important to put in place uh, the right uh, uh, frameworks in, certain, in, in terms of processes and also uh, align the larger team, uh, uh, you know, uh, to kind of uh, achieve that single point goal or vision. Uh, for, for me, uh, for example, it was uh, pivotal uh, to kind of, uh, uh, in my journey, my, my family members have played a pivotal role in defining what I have to do. I have always uh, been open to feedback and I've, uh, we, I, I have seek guidance from them. Uh, and, uh, um, you know, it, it's, it's important to define that vision early on in your career. And also along the way, uh, be open to feedback, uh, take uh, take uh, take help from people from different diversity to actually realize this vision. It's not so easy to realize a vision unless you have uh, the right mindset and also you're open and collaborative to take uh, feedback uh, from people who really uh, matter. And um, I think it's also important uh, uh, for young talent to, uh, uh, you know, build something which is purposeful. Uh, in my case, it was uh, building, uh, uh, say, for example, a team of uh, expertise uh, and a practice in my company, which can focus on sustainability as a vision. It can be a subset of sustainability that you're uh, aiming at, say, for example, uh, you would like to uh, address the water crisis in the world, for that matter, or uh, you would like to address uh, uh, building a net zero economy for that matter. It can be something very focused and very specific, but early on it's important to set that goal in your mind and work towards it. And I think things will unfurl if you really believe in what you're doing. I think things will definitely uh, work uh, in your favor. That is, that is am it's amazing advice, Swati. Thank you so much for those seeds of wisdom there. That's, that's brilliant. Um, Swati, thank you so much for your time today. It's been an absolute pleasure speaking to you and um, best of luck going forward with TCS. Thank you so much, Aaron, and I'm, I'm very grateful to the organizers for giving me the award. Like I said, I, I really I was really awed by all uh, all the uh, women uh, uh, leaders over there who were shortlisted. 
and i had a, a great time speaking to them and it was an e- either uh, evening of uh, great inspirational stories so i'm i'm really thankful uh, for uh, this opportunity and thank you again aaron for giving me this opportunity to talk to you thank you swati thank you very much